Hi everyone, Rippies Afterlife. Contact tonight, I'm in Woodingdean. I'm on something called a bridal pathway. It's between Woodingdean and Ovingdean. I'm standing in front of a girls school in Woodingdean. Um, now, back in 1967, a poor young lad, only 12 years old, by the name of Keith Lyons was stabbed somewhere along this pathway. I'm going to be using apps to try and communicate with him and to find out if he still resides here. If that is the case, then I will be helping him to cross and any other sites that may reside. Lately I've been having some issues with a dark entity whatever it is, it seems to be a she and she seems to be following me around trying to uh, get me on her side so to speak and in my last video she recruited someone, a male that is trying to influence me as well it's not going to help because I have God on my side I have angels on my side I'm a true believer and I'm hoping you watching the video now, you believe too. So without any further ado, I'm going to turn this camera around, start recording. Uh, I'm carrying a very noisy carrier bag because the bag I carry was messed upon by my cat, so it's being washed. So any rustling you hear is probably my coat or the jacket, uh, my coat or the bag even. Anyway, let's get on with this, shall we? I'm going to be using um, Ghost Tube to start with. See you in a moment. guys uh, it's very dark along here so I'm not sure how long I how far I have to walk uh, ghost tube is running right now I'm not sure if it's still it's just a school uh, a girls school could be both now since I arrived guys the wind has picked up as usual I don't know if you can see down there after this light there's nothing right, his body was found by a young girl I think it was uh, minutes or an hour later after he had been stabbed now the poor lad was just walking from Ovingdean to Willingdean, I believe, to buy a geometry set. She was very smart. For a 12 year old in 1967. He was obviously planning his future well. Wow, it's changed. My whole body's gone funny. I'm going to turn this light up a bit. Excuse the noise. Okay. No, that's down. We go up. He 
if need be guys I will change to a torch Keith Keith Lyons don't be afraid my name is Paul I'm here to talk to you Lord God, I call upon your protection. I ask you to guide me through this pathway to find this young lad. There's actually a house there. I wonder if that house was there in the 60s. Right, this is where it changes to um, a big field, I believe. But his body was actually found somewhere in bushes. So it must have been somewhere around here, because further down is just nothing, it's just fields. found by a little girl walking her dog he was found sorry right, let me put this bag down for a minute Keith if you can hear me Come forward and talk to me. My name is Paul. Don't be frightened. I'm not here to hurt you. I have a device in my left hand. It's a word dictionary. If you can say your name or whether you're here. Well, wow, guys, that wind's getting strong. Whoa. Keith, the year is 2021. You've been dead for 50, what is it, 53 years? 1967, 54 years. It's time to come out and talk. Do you know who your killer was? Please speak to me. I'm not going to hurt you. Five. Five. Was it five kids? Did five kids hurt you? It's time to solve your murder. It's time to talk. Who hurt you? Bet you'll miss your mum and dad. I'm not sure how long this battery is going to last on this light, but I'm going to turn it up. It's up to 99 now. So it keeps getting really blurry there. 
key for you here. Don't be scared, I'm here to help you. Talk to me. Was that you who said five? A little girl found you, didn't she? But it was too late. So sorry. Guys, it is eerie here. If there is anything evil holding you, run away from them and come to me. Come close to me. Speak to me, come on. Don't be scared. Tell me what happened. How do you feel? I feel okay. How do you feel? Why should I kneel? I don't feel alone here. I can hear a dog. Come on, I can't be here too long because I'll get I'll attract attention. Come to me, Keith. Talk to me. I can get you with your family. Where are you? He was in a fight. What was his name? Tell me his name. Let the truth come out. So I can't really turn the camera around on me because it would be too dark, there's no light, apart from what's shining in front. Do you trust me, Keith? Do you trust that I can help you? Do 
you want to speak your voice now? Do you want to? Do you want them to hear you? I've got another app that I can put on. I'm sorry, I'm just situating in one area, guys. It's just uh, yeah. this is the only area that I looked on Google Maps that there's bushes and it's near the school. Ovingding is down that way, so that's where he would have came from. He was heading towards the shop to buy a ge geometry set. Right, Keith, see this device in my hand, this mobile phone. You can talk through this, you can talk to us. Come forward and tell me what happened. Hi Keith. Young. He was only twelve. Who hurt you? Ow, that was my knee. Who was you fighting with? Souls, can you let Keith talk? Come on, Keith. Your brother still misses you. I'm going to say a prayer for you. You'll be free to cross into the light. Nobody there. <laughs> Keith, let, help them to solve your crime. Speak your killer's name. Right, I'm going to say a prayer for you, okay? Come, come close to me. I call upon our Lord God today. 
and I ask that you help any and all souls that may be lost or trapped within this area. Please help the 12 year old boy Keith especially. He's been in a lot of pain, he's been trapped here for a long time. Help him to find peace, to find light, to be with his family. Amen. Now Keith, go with them to the light. Okay. Anything evil here, you are rebuked. You must leave this area and leave the souls in peace. The power of Christ compels you. Keith. Go to the light, Keith. Okay, goodbye. Now I'm hoping that helps, guys. Right, let's uh, film my way out while I've still got light. Any and all souls that may reside here cross over, leave this dark place, anything evil you are rebuked, you must leave and never return, you cannot attach to me in any way whatsoever, I am protected. Guys, I honestly think I heard a young boy's voice come through that microphonic. He was a bit nervous to start with. I would be as well at being age 12. subscribers I'd like to welcome you to the channel and I hope you uh, enjoy the videos I've uh, brought out quite a few so all my early ones have got very little views but uh, I was watching a few today and they're actually quite interesting even though I was kind of a bod back then some of the things I was investigating and uh, the way I spoke to the souls. Now, I didn't pray as much back then because uh, I was more interested in the, you know, the hunting for ghosts sort of thing. But now I'm beginning to learn that they are really here. And my job is to find out why. Uh, obviously, you know, some are still here because of sin, but then there's some here because of guilt or murder. Uh, some that don't know that they're dead. Could be multiple reasons, really. 
but I've also learned that there are dark forces at work as well. So, saying that, I've attracted quite a few. I've had to cleanse quite a lot. And I trust in God. And from what I think I've heard, I do believe angels are real. If you listen on the Necrophonic app or sometimes even in the wind, you can hear them high above. And it always makes my heart flutter, is, is the right word I think. Because I know now that there is an afterlife. Sounds like a, a hay or something like that. There's nobody up here. I don't think so anyway. <laughs> second guys I shall just flip you around yeah so anyway very interesting place eerie I'll give you that um did I cross him over I would like to think I did and after all this time perhaps he's even spoken his name the killer's name or killer's Like I said, like I say in my videos guys, put your headphones on, always listen for the noises in the background or high up, they're the ones that are basically giving you warnings or telling you what's going on, uh, whether I've actually crossed them over, etc. But I definitely trust that there is something there now and we're all going there as long as we stick by the book I'm not saying you know live a, a sin free life because that's impossible in today's world yeah see I actually feel calm here I may have done what, um, what I was supposed to do. So anyway, I'm going to end this video, guys. Thank you for watching, if you did. Um, always a pleasure to do these videos, as creepy as they are. And I will see you in our next, very next video. Could be tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll be Tuesday, because that's my next day off. So be safe, guys. Be well. God bless you all.